Paul is a photojournalist for a local newspaper. It's his day off, and he's hanging out at a party. Suddenly, a famous actress, Heather, enters the dance floor. Paul takes only one picture of her before his phone runs out of power. The next day, Paul shows this picture to his boss and gets a huge bonus. Can you guess why this picture is so exclusive? Heather is stealing money from this lady's pocket. Paul is looking at the office open space from the second floor. Suddenly, he spots a time traveler among his co-workers. Can you see this person too? This guy's outfit is too old-fashioned. Paul leaves his workplace to get some fresh air and eat. In a while, he returns and finds his boss unconscious on the floor. Oh. Paul calls doctors and questions three co-workers standing nearby. Rachel says, I entered his office 10 minutes ago to discuss my ideas, but he said he's been too busy and asked me to leave. Mm. Stan says, I don't know what happened here because it was my lunch break time. I was eating my hot dog outdoors. Mm. And Lily says, I think I saw some suspicious man in a black outfit entering his office. Hmm. Can you guess who's lying? Stan, he has an unpacked hot dog on his desk, so he was definitely doing something else during his lunch break. Paul arrives downtown to take some pictures. He's looking out the window of one of the buildings and sees this horrible scene. Why is he doing it? Do you have any ideas? This lady is a magician, so it's just a staging. Finally, Paul enters a spooky building where he's supposed to photograph. Suddenly, someone locks the door, and now Paul is trapped inside. He wanders around for a while and finds these four doors. A creepy voice announces, only door number five is the escape door. As for the other three doors, dangerous monsters are waiting behind them to eat anyone who dares to enter. Oh boy. Can you help Paul choose the right way? He should choose the first door. The symbols on the doors are actually numbers. Yeah. Paul enters the exam room and sees two more doors with spirals. The voice says, You should choose the spiral which consists of two separate parts. Hmm. The other door hides a magical portal leading to a black hole. Can you help Paul pick the right door? It's the second one. Paul opens the door and finds himself in a suspicious hall. He sees a metal door with a combination lock, but it's locked and requires a six number code. What would you suggest? The correct code is three, seven, five, four, one, nine. There's a hint hanging on the wall. Paul should literally enter three sevens five fours, and one nine. Ooh. In the next room, Paul meets a mad scientist, the one who had imprisoned him. He says, I'm gonna set you free if you crack my last riddle. So listen carefully. I have a head and a tail that will never meet. Having too many of me is always a treat. What am I? The correct answer is a coin. The scientist says, Okay, you can go now. There are three doors for you to choose from. Unfortunately, each door is hiding some danger. There's a tank with a hungry shark behind the first door. And there's a bunch of balloons filled with toxic gas behind the second door. And there's a giant cobra waiting behind the third door. Can you help Paul choose the safest option to escape? Paul should choose the second door. Toxic gas is inside the balloons, so if he passes by carefully without popping them, he'll escape safely. Yeah.
Paul returns to his neighborhood. He's walking down the street and sees a tree with a bunch of birds. Can you spot an antisocial owl among them? This owl is looking away from the rest of the group. There are two houses with two single women living next to Paul. One of them used to live in poverty all her life, but today she robbed a bank. Can you spot this woman? The first lady is the robber. She spent unnecessary money on food, which is far more than one person needs. Paul is having a family meeting. He asks two of his sisters to sell an equal amount of homemade cookies. The cost of each cookie is one dollar. Paul tells them, you shouldn't eat the cookies that you're selling, and you should sell all the cookies. At the end of the day, all cookies are sold, yet neither sister gained nor lost a dollar. How is this possible? The first sister bought a cookie from the other one, and the second sister bought a cookie from the first one, and so on. In the evening, Paul is having a family dinner, but one of the guests is an imposter. Oh. Can you guess who? This gentleman is a ghost. He's levitating in the air. The next day, Paul arrives at his workplace and sees his co-worker standing near this mirror. Lily says, It's rumored that anyone who stood up in front of that mirror at 444 ended up disappearing forever. The guys decide to debunk that myth. Lily approaches the mirror at 444, but nothing happens. They laugh at the rumor and get back to business. After work, everyone goes home, but Lily stays for a little longer to finish her work. After doing that, she walks up to the mirror and disappears. The clock says 7.16. Why did it happen at the wrong time? The rumor was about the mirror time. 7.16 is the mirror image of 4.44. Paul wants to rescue Lily, so he goes to the most famous wicked witch in his town. The witch says, Okay, young man, I can get your friend out of the looking glass if you help me in the kitchen. Which one of these seven potion pots will get full first? Do you have any ideas? Outlets to the first and fifth pots are blocked at the initial point, so they won't fill. Nothing is connected to the sixth pot. The outlet under the second pot is also blocked in the end. Outlets to pots 3, 4, and 7 are blocked in the middle, so they won't fill. Therefore, no pot will ever fill. The witch is satisfied with Paul's answer. She shows him four doors and says, Your friend is behind one of these doors. You only have one chance to pick the right one. Good luck! Can you help Paul find Lily? There are flower symbols on each door. Paul should pick the door with a lily. Yes! Paul rescues Lily, and the witch offers him to fulfill one wish. Paul goes home to ask advice from his family. His blind father wants to restore his sight. His sister wants a puppy, and his mother wants to be super rich. Paul makes a wish, and all three people get what they want. What was Paul's wish? Here's what Paul told the witch. My father wants to see our puppy digging in a pile of gold coins. Paul arrives at a luxury boat club to make a report. Four millionaires are talking about their boats. There are a total of eight boats, two in each color, red, green, blue, and yellow. Each millionaire owns two boats, but no millionaire has two boats of the same color. Alex doesn't have a yellow boat. Bob doesn't have a red boat but he does have a green one. One of the millionaires has a yellow boat and a blue boat. And another millionaire has a green boat and a blue boat. Charles has a yellow boat. David has a blue boat. 
but he doesn't have a green one. Can you guess the colors of boats owned by each millionaire? Alex has a red and a green boat. Bob has one green boat and one blue boat. Charles has a yellow boat and a red one. And David has one blue and one yellow boat. Austin throws a party at his parents' house. The next morning, he finds out that someone had robbed him. The thief took all the money and jewelry from the safe locker. Austin video calls four of his best friends and says, Someone robbed my house yesterday. Do you have any suspects? Mary says, I'm sorry, but I can't believe it was one of the guests. Julie says, I spent all evening downstairs. I didn't even come close to your parents' safe. So I didn't notice anything suspicious. Bob says, no way! Every single guest at the party is pretty wealthy. Maybe it's the pizza guy. And Rick replies, But Mary showed up with a stranger looking like a criminal. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that he's the thief. Can you guess who's the robber? Julie. Austin didn't mention the safe. How did she know? This pen is only half filled with ink. How many words can it write? Pens cannot write even a single word. It's the person holding the pen who can write the words. One of these customers is not from Earth. Can you spot who? This guy is eating toothpicks. What about this company? Who's not from Earth? This person. Who uses a laptop as a mug holder? Bobby, Stella, and Chris are having a roller skating contest in the park. But one of them is cheating. Can you guess who? Chris. Take a closer look at his feet. His roller skates are not so simple. Wendy is selling flowers. One sunflower costs $24. The price of one narcissist is $9. Can you calculate the price of one calla lily? The price for one calla lily would be $1.50. Each flower costs $1.50 per petal, and a calla lily only has one petal. George and Nancy are having dinner in a fancy restaurant. Can you spot three weird things here? The violinist is using an arrow. There's a toad in these flowers, and this waiter serves a bitten apple. Emma, Ted, and Peter are having a speed swimming competition. Can you spot who's cheating? It's Ted. Take a look at his neck. He has a small chip. Therefore, he must be a robot, and he can't compete with humans. Andy and his wife Nancy go to sleep early tonight. In the middle of the night, weird noises from the basement wake Andy up. His wife is gone. Andy looks around the house, but Nancy doesn't answer. Andy goes down to the basement. Suddenly, a creepy clown pops out of nowhere and tries to grab Andy. But Andy just laughs and says, Stop fooling around. I know it's just a prank. How did he know? Take a look at the picture on the wall. Nancy and the clown are wearing identical sneakers. Bob visits this coffee shop every day because he's secretly in love with the local barista, Kelly. But today, he faced unpleasant news. Someone had replaced Kelly with her evil clone. How did Bob know? All Kelly's piercings and tattoos are gone and no marks are left on the skin. Billy downloads a dating app to find his love. He finds three ladies and likes them equally. Elle is a travel blogger, vegan, and a huge fan of rom-coms. Ashley is a school teacher. She loves hiking and writes her own novels. 
Bella is a scientist. She's very busy at work. That's why she never has had a serious relationship. She's fond of ice cream and sunrises. Unfortunately, only one of these three profiles isn't fake. Can you help Billy ask the right lady out? There's a wedding picture on Bella's desk. Therefore, she's a liar. Elle says that she's a vegan, but she's eating a hot dog in this picture and a steak in this picture. So she's a liar too. So Billy should invite Ashley. Shelly runs an online shop. Although all her employees live in the same city, they only meet online. This morning, their Zoom call was interrupted by a stranger. Can you spot the imposter? It's this lady. All employees live in the same city, which means in the same time zone. But take a look out her window. It's a deep night. Dan is hiking in the woods during the last weekend of March every year, but this time he gets lost. Dan wanders around and finds this sign. He should choose one of the three routes to get out of the forest. The first route leads through a village of mutants. They hate people and no one has ever managed to escape from them. The second route is across a very old suspension bridge located under a river full of toads and worms. The third route leads through the habitat of a large family of bears. Which way is more or less safe? It's spring now, so the bears are awake and probably very hungry. Also, it will be difficult for Dan to deal with the mutants all alone, so Dan should take the second route. Even if he falls into the river, nothing bad will happen. Toads and worms don't bite. Rosie is baking a delicious chocolate cake in the kitchen. It's a gift for her boyfriend. When it's ready, she puts the cake in the fridge and goes upstairs to take a shower. In a while, Rosie returns to find out that someone had cut the cake and eaten a few pieces. Rosie questions three of her roommates. Samantha says, how dare you? I'm on a sugar-free diet. Pam says, I haven't been in the kitchen today. I'm too busy with my studies. And Harry says, I opened the fridge two minutes ago and the cake was full. Who ate the missing pieces? Nobody. The roommates pranked Rosie. The spoiled chocolate cake isn't Rosie's cake. Take a closer look. It has a different decoration. And her cake is still in the fridge, in this box on another shelf. Tom is having a job interview. The HR manager likes his resume and asks him one final question to check his logical thinking. These toothpicks indicate a group of fishes moving from west to east. Can you make them move in the opposite direction by moving just three toothpicks? Here's the solution. Victor is riding a bicycle in the park. Suddenly, someone throws a spray can of blue paint at his head. Victor loses balance and falls. He finds three suspects and interrogates them. Alex says, I was just sitting on the bench and reading a book. Barbie says, I was skating and didn't see any paint cans. And Ashley says, I was painting graffiti, but soon I noticed that someone had stolen my blue paint. Who threw the paint at Victor? Ashley has paint on her hands, and that's okay because she's making street art. Alex has stains on his t-shirt, but it's just a design. And why would Barbie have blue stains on her hands if she didn't see any paint? Anna is waiting for her boyfriend, Stan, in a restaurant. He shows up with a box of donuts and goes straight to Anna. Suddenly, he slips on the wet floor. What is Stan trying to say? The donuts say, marry me? Stan is proposing to Anna. Fred sits down at a barbershop. The hairdresser says, you must be a visitor here. I love to cut strangers. It's better to serve two strangers than one local. Fred asks why. 
Can you guess the hairdresser's reply? Serving two is always more profitable than one. I have hundreds of legs, but I can only lean. Make me feel dirty so you feel clean. What am I? I'm a broom. The CIA arrives at Chris's house this morning. They suspect that he's a criminal. He sells stolen art to other criminals via Instagram, but Chris denies everything. Having searched the apartment, the agents find his phone. There are three suspicious people among his followers. Can you spot the criminal? It's this guy. His nickname literally says, Top Secret. Two best friends, Emily and Luna, came to a popular and expensive hair salon. At first, the administrator told the girls they had just one available hairstylist. But after making a phone call, she happily announced she had found another hairdresser. Emily and Luna could have their hair done at the same time. But in the process, it dawned on the girls that one of the hairstylists was fake. Which one? Hairstylists are using regular scissors, but instead of hairspray, the one on the left is holding a can of bug spray. Yeah, that's a big clue right there. Mary and her younger brother Alex were mushroom hunting in the forest. They started to quarrel, so Alex got angry and ran away. After several minutes, Mary rushed after him. She was still fuming but also worried. Soon, the girl reached a small river. A man was sitting on the shore. Did you see a teenager here? Mary asked. Yep, he's just taken a boat and made it to the other side. But Mary didn't believe the man. Why? The boat is indeed on the other side, but the paddles are lying next to the man. How could the boy cross the river without them? Three prisoners are sitting at a table having dinner, but one of them is wealthy. Can you guess who it is? It's not the guy with the steak and shrimps. The little tag on his shirt reveals he's a chef, and he likes to prepare a special treat for himself. The guy with the jewels shows that he's well off, but in prison, jewelry is basically worthless. It's the third guy. Wealthy people try to keep a low profile in prison, not to be targeted by others. That's why he doesn't flash any valuable possessions or his status. It's Friday and all the students have gathered in a big lecture hall to take the end of term exam. The teacher has been informed that one student is going to cheat. Can you tell which one? Pay attention to every detail. It's student C. It looks as if he's trying to remember what he's read, but he has all the answers written on his hand. Marta was walking through the park near her home in the evening. It was dark and there was nobody around. Suddenly, someone grabbed her from behind and they bolted away. Marta oh no! took off after them. She was pretty sure this person was a woman, but she couldn't make out her appearance or clothes. When Marta ran inside, she saw three teachers. The girl looked at them attentively and soon figured out which one of them had taken her bag. Can you do the same? The woman in the middle wouldn't be able to run away with a cast on her leg. The one on the right doesn't have anything in her hands. Where would she hide Marta's bag so quickly? But the woman on the left has a big shopper bag on her shoulder. A real teacher wouldn't need to carry it in the classroom. So she was definitely the one who took the bag. Jonathan sneaked out of the house late in the evening to meet his girlfriend. The teenager thought he was extremely careful and quiet, but his whole family knew about his plan. They were aware the guy would return at midnight, so they decided to make a bet. The one who would see Nathan first when the guy started climbing the fence would be the winner. The prize would be no chores for them for one week. So as to not fall asleep, Nathan's dad switched on the TV. The teen's grandfather settled in the living room to read a book. 
The grandmother went to the kitchen to make a pizza, and Nathan's mom went to her room, sat down on the floor, and started to meditate. Who's going to be the first to spot Nathan when the time comes? Nathan's mom. Her eyes will be used to the darkness, and she will see better than the others. Look at this picture closely and try to figure out who's from the future. Well, I'm pretty sure there was no flashlights in the Stone Age, so it has to be this guy here. Down in the Sea Kingdom, Stacy met Neptune. He was sitting on his throne, surrounded by three mermaids. Neptune asked Stacy to return the pearl necklace to his wife, who had recently lost it. Luke happened to have found the necklace on the shore. Can you guess which mermaid is Neptune's wife, so Luke can give it back to her? It's the third one. She's the only one who's wearing an engagement ring. Lisa was a famous top model. She was found unconscious in her dressing room during a photo shoot and taken to a hospital. Doctors said she had a severe allergic reaction. But when Lisa came to her senses, she insisted she hadn't eaten anything all day. The model's manager was very concerned and interrogated everyone who'd been around. Lisa's stylist said that she had applied Lisa's makeup and indeed hadn't seen her eat anything. The cleaning lady said she had cleaned the dressing room with organic, non-allergenic products. Lisa's main rival, Nora, said that she'd been watching the shooting all day long. She hadn't noticed anything suspicious. Who's the culprit? It was the stylist. Lipstick was the only thing Lisa could have swallowed that day. In the middle of the night, Dennis woke up because of a loud crash. One of the kids must have been out, but they know they aren't allowed to leave at night. The man went to check on the children. All three of them, Catherine, Ruth, and Larry, seemed to be sleeping peacefully. Look at the kids and try to figure out who sneaked out of the house. It was Ruth! There's a dirty sneaker hidden behind the curtain and several pieces of french fries under her bed. Brenda was traveling by train. It was scorching hot in the carriage. The girl took off her gold bracelet decorated with diamonds and put it on the table in front of her. Several minutes later, the train entered a tunnel, and it got pitch dark. When the tunnel was left behind, there was no bracelet on the table. Brenda oh, was no. shocked. Someone's taken my bracelet! There were just three other people in the compartment. Helen said she'd been sleeping. Rachel was reading a book on her phone, and Gregory had gone to the bathroom even before the train entered the tunnel. Who took the bracelet? It was Helen. At first, she had her sleeves rolled up, but now they're covering her arms down to the wrists, hiding the bracelet. Sarah bought some ice cream on Saturday, but kept the flavors in secret. When she woke up on Sunday, all the oh, ice cream was gone. She asked everyone in the house if they knew anything about it. James answered he had gone to work early that morning and hadn't seen anything. Mary said she wanted to have the new caramel ice cream in the afternoon. She felt bad she was going to miss it. John didn't even know there was ice cream in the house. But he was looking forward to trying it. Can you figure out who knows something? It's Mary. The ice cream flavors were a secret. She couldn't be sure there was a caramel taste among them. Can you tell who's a real mermaid here? The second one is a guy, so he definitely isn't a mermaid. The girl on the right is chilling in the sun, and she's out of the water. Mermaids wouldn't do that because they dry out in the sun. So the real mermaid must be the one on the left. There were some thefts at the supermarket. There were three cases in total, in January, April, and June. The security camera recorded these videos. The security officer tried to have a closer look and suddenly noticed one detail. 
After that, the identity of the thief became clear. What did he notice? It was the pregnant woman. The attentive security officer noticed that in January, she looked about six to seven months pregnant. In June, she looked the same. Hmm, seems like it's the mysterious case of the baby bump that was really a canned ham. One day, a thief decided to rob the local bank. He came up with a brilliant plan to dress up as one of the bank tellers and try to sneak into the vault. As he was approaching the vault, he saw a security guard standing right in front of the door. The robber hadn't anticipated this, so he hid and watched the guard carefully when one of the actual bank tellers walked up to the door. The security guard said 12. The worker answered 6 and got in. Then another teller came up to the vault. When the security guard said 6, the person answered 3 and was granted access. The thief nonchalantly walked up to the security guard when the guard said 10. The robber confidently answered 5. He was arrested immediately. So why was the thief's answer wrong and what could he have answered instead? The response has to do with the number of letters in the word. 12 has 6 letters, so the answer is 6. 6, in turn, has 3 letters, so the answer is 3. Well, you can see by now that the robber should have said 3. Looks like he wasn't as brilliant as he thought. Mr. Riddle is an old-fashioned aristocrat. He invites a landscape designer, Bella, to do his chic country mansion. Okay. He says, your task is to plant seven trees. I will triple your paycheck if you find a way to plant exactly six rows of trees in a straight line. Also, each row should have three trees in particular. Do you have any idea how Bella can accomplish this task? Bella should plant three trees as the vertices of an equal triangle. Three more trees should be planted at the center of each side of the triangle. The last tree should be planted at the center, and voila! While working in Mr. Riddle's garden, Bella finds three hidden words. Can you see them too? There are three hidden words here. Tree, farm, and plant. The local gardener is playing a quiz game. He keeps asking the same question to everyone he meets, but each time, the answer is different. Can you guess the question? The question that the gardener asks is, what's the time? Later that night, Bella is heading to the local nightclub. On the way, she spots three mistakes in the picture below. Can you see them too? December 32nd doesn't exist. There's no green light at the traffic signal. And this trolley doesn't have any rails. Ooh. Bella's boyfriend, Tyler, is performing a show with his dancing group at 11 p.m. Ah. Bella is a little late. So when she enters the nightclub, she sees Tyler and his crew on the stage. They're dancing in a straight line. At this very moment, Tyler is standing in the fourth position from both the front and back ends of the row. Can you figure out the number of dancers? There are seven people in Tyler's dancing group, including himself. Tyler was the fourth from both ends, which means three dancers were at the front and at the back. After the performance, Bella is wandering around the club and sees these two guys in the VIP section. Can you tell who's fake? The guy on the left, his reflection doesn't say anything, but the guy on the right is wearing a suit and has some cash in his pocket, so he's probably just having a bad day. The next day, Bella receives an invitation to have dinner with Mr. Riddle. Bella agrees and arrives at his house in the evening. She enters the dining room and spots four weird things right away. Can you see them too?
This candle has a purple flame. Someone is peeping through the eyes in this portrait. This fireplace burns without any wood. And finally, both hands of Mr. Riddle are left. During the dinner, Mr. Riddle tells Bella, I'm so grateful for your work. I decided to give you a gift if you managed to crack my puzzle. So listen carefully. I can be broken, even if you never pick me up or touch me. What am I? Can you help Bella solve this mystery? The correct answer is a promise. Bella cracks the riddle and receives the promised gift from Mr. Riddle. The gift has lots of keys, but it can never open a door. Oh. What is it? The correct answer is a piano. Bella enters Mr. Riddle's library. Suddenly, he locks the door. The windows are locked too, so Bella is trapped inside the room. She looks around and finds a secret exit. Yes. Can you see it too? Take a look at the floor. There's a door to the basement hidden under the carpet. In the basement, Bella finds a door that leads outside, but it's locked and requires a five-digit password. Do you have any idea how to open it? The note on the wall has a hint. Each image contains a different number of colors. The rainbow has seven colors. The cloud, one. The bird, four. And so on. So the correct password is 17421. Bella escapes from Mr. Riddle's house and gets lost in the woods. There are three possible ways to cross this area. Unfortunately, only one is safe. Can you guess which one? Bella should pick the second path to survive. Bella arrives at the nearest village in the mountains. Hello. She enters the local diner to call the police, but she regrets her decision as soon as she gets inside. Ah. Why? This is a vampire village. None of the customers eats anything. And also, she's the only person who casts any shadow here. Ah. Bella runs away to the mountains and finds three tunnels. Unfortunately, each path is hiding some danger. There's a cage with hungry lions behind the first door. The second tunnel is filled with gas that's very toxic for any human. And there's a giant dragon waiting inside the third tunnel. Can you help Bella choose the safest option? Bella should choose the first tunnel. The lions are in the cage, so she can just walk by and escape. Now Bella needs to cross a fast-flowing mountain river by jumping from stone to stone. She struggles with choosing the last step. Can you help her? Each stone has a particular number. 1, 2, 4, 7, 11, 16. This sequence is formed by adding the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Therefore, the remaining stone should be 16 plus 6. So Bella should choose the stone 22. Finally, Bella finds a highway. Three people offer to give her a run, but only one of these guys is reliable. Can you guess who? The second guy's car has no license plate and it's been painted recently, so the car is probably stolen. Take a closer look at the third guy's hand. He's a zombie! So Bella should choose the first guy. Bella arrives home and finds out that someone had robbed her apartment. She calls the police and questions three neighbors. Ryan says, I think I heard weird noises from your apartment two hours ago, but I thought it was your TV. Peter says, uh, I noticed a suspicious delivery guy near your door about an hour ago when I was taking out the trash. And Emma says, I've just arrived from my business trip in London. I don't know what happened here. Hmm. 
Who's lying? Peter said he took out the trash an hour ago, but he still has a full garbage can in front of his door. And the flies around it tell us that this bag has been here for a while. Therefore, he's a liar. The next day, Bella enters a supermarket to buy some food. The manager complains that someone had stolen a watermelon. Oh, no. Bella spots the thief right away. What about you? This fake basketball player is the thief. The ball shouldn't have any zip. Bella is walking down the street. She passes by three guys who are busy washing their cars. In a while, Bella realizes that her wallet is gone. Oh. She returns to the guys and asks, Has anyone seen my wallet? All three guys answer no, but one of them is a thief. Can you guess who? It's the guy on the left. The level of water in his bucket increased after he threw Bella's wallet into it. Bella approaches the parking lot and finds out that someone had stolen her car. She calls the police. The officers begin to chase the thief. The light over the license plate of Bella's car isn't working. Also, the police car has a faulty headlight. But eventually, the officers succeed in catching the thief and return the car to Bella. How did they manage to catch the criminal? Yes. Do you have any ideas? It was daytime, therefore they didn't need any headlights or lights over the license plate. Bella comes home and opens her fridge to grab some snacks. Right away she begins to yell at her boyfriend. Tyler, you ate my food again! Tyler replies, no I didn't. Can you guess who's lying by looking at these two pictures? Tyler, he took these five items from the fridge. Okay, first question. Who is someone that doesn't decide if they go in or out? That's a prisoner. And today, you're going to be a true detective solving some prisoner riddles. Ready? Here's a task for you. Take a good look at these three houses. In one of them, a person who recently escaped from prison resides. In which house do you think they live? If they just escaped from prison, they're very alert and surely ready to flee immediately and as fast as possible. Look at the way the cars are parked. Two are parked with the back facing the road and one is pointing towards the street. If a car is parked pointing towards the street, it's faster to drive out. So it must be the runaway prisoner's house. A prisoner has a chance to escape prison. He has a choice of two doors. Behind one, there's freedom and the other one leads back to his cell. He doesn't know which is which. In front of either door, there's a guard. One of them always lies and the other always tells the truth. But again, he doesn't know which one is which. The prisoner can ask one question. What question should he ask to get out? He should ask either guard. Is the lying guard in front of the freedom door? If he says yes, there are two options. Either he's telling the truth or he's the liar. And so he stands next to the cell door. In any case, the prisoner should pick the other door. If the guard says no, then it's either the truth and the door is then the freedom door. Or it's a lie, but it still remains that it's the freedom door. So, in a case of a no, the prisoner should pick that door. A prisoner is trying to escape. He managed to leave the cell and found an underground tunnel, but it only led him to three doors. All of them didn't look safe. Behind the first door, there were two guards who would see him and take him back to prison. Behind the second door, there was a room full of lasers. Behind the third door, there was a room with the floor full of broken glass. Which way is safer?
The prisoner should pick the last door. The floor is covered in broken glass, but he's wearing shoes, so it can't cause him much harm. Another prisoner is trying to escape, and he almost succeeded. There are now three doors in front of him. Behind one, there will be three hungry and angry dogs. Behind the second door, there will be an explosion in five minutes. Behind the third door, there is a guard. Which door should the prisoner pick to get out successfully? He should wait for five minutes until the explosion and then use the second door to get out. Now here's a logic puzzle. An inmate had a visitor. A guard asked him who it was and he said, I don't have any siblings. This man's father is my father's son. So who visited the inmate? Since the prisoner doesn't have any siblings, then my father's son is him himself. And he is the father of the guest, so the guest is his son. An inmate got sick, and now he has to take pills to keep his illness under control and also not to infect anyone else. He got three pills which he has to take every hour. How long will it take him to take all the pills? It'll only take him two hours. One he will take immediately, another one after one hour, and the last one after two hours. An inmate escaped from prison. His best friend was waiting for him in a car, so the prisoner hopped in and they drove away. The police are now chasing them. This is the car with the prisoner, and these two cars are identical. Watch the car with the prisoner carefully. Which car is the escapee in? It's the one on the left. Okay, now it's going to be even harder. Watch the car again. They'll go faster. Which one is it? If you said this one, then you're right. Okay, one last time. And will you catch the prisoner? Watch the cars carefully. Which one is it? It's this one, correct. Congratulations, you caught the prisoner. Another prisoner escaped and police tracked him back to a recreational hotel complex in a forest in the suburbs. A detective entered a sauna he had seen the prisoner sneaking in a minute ago. There were four men sitting there. They said they were friends and had been sitting in the sauna for around 10 minutes and hadn't seen anyone else entering. Which one is the prisoner? It must be this guy. Look, everyone is wet and sweaty, and he's not sweating at all. He must have just entered. Another day, another prisoner managed to escape. This time, the police were sure that the prisoner was somewhere in the zoo located not far away from the prison. They entered and went up to one of the zoo's caretakers, asking if he had seen a prisoner there. No, sir, I guarantee that no prisoners entered this area, said the caretaker. It was suspicious. Why was he so sure about that? All right, thank you for your assistance. By the way, why is this cage empty? Oh, I'm cleaning it. The zebras were relocated for a while. The police arrested him as a prisoner. Why? The sign on the cage says that it's the cage with camels. If he was a real caretaker, he would know this. Now, I'll be showing you several houses and your task is to determine in which house a criminal lives. For example, look at these two. Which room belongs to a criminal? This one. Look! There's a black mask on the chair. What about these two houses? 
Do you see something suspicious? There are orange overalls in the wardrobe. They must belong to a prisoner. Another one for you. Can you see any signs of a prisoner? Look, there's a huge bag with money hidden. This is the place. There are four prisoners who get a chance to get out sooner if they solve a riddle. There are four hats. Two black ones and two white ones. And everyone is aware of that. They stand like this. The first prisoner is in the front and can't see anyone. The second prisoner can only see the first one. The third prisoner can see both. Behind a wall, there's the fourth prisoner who can't see anyone. Each one of them got a hat. None of them knows the color of their hat. They can only see others as described. Any one of them can make a guess regarding the color of their own hat. One attempt for all of them. But if the person gets it right, all four of them will get out. How can they do it? The third prisoner can see two hats in front of him. If they're the same color, then he knows his own hat is the other color. But if there are two different hat colors in front of him, then he can't be sure. In this case, he'll stay silent. Then, the second prisoner understands that they have hats of different colors. He can see the hat color of the first prisoner. So he will call out that his own has the other color.